Um, so, right. So you'll be able to see me if, if you don't have the certain view on, but if, as long as Dana is recording with just you two, that should be okay. good. Thank you so much for speaking with me. This show, every season, I love the mystery and then the, the overlapping layers that it has. It involves the entire characters in this town. From the first season, you've got like a big promotion and then you also have to deal with the town itself and all of the conflicts that's going on. Along on top of that, there's the racism and you being a female what would you say has been the mental differences or how uh, you approach season two compared to how you approached season one? Hmm. Well, season one, I had no idea what it was like to be a cop. Mm -hmm. So I um, actually went down to the police station and asked if I could sit with a few of the cops and, and pick their brains and they agreed. So, um, I was kind of getting the feel of what that was like. And for Trip in season one, she's basically um, Hildy's sidekick. Right. And um, uh, they are very curious beings and they're solving crimes and she's uh, Hildy's source. Now, moving into uh, season two, Trip has this big transition into power, which is something that she doesn't really have in season one. Yeah. And um, Approaching it, I, um, I I use the same method. I yeah. read the script, right? And I usually read the script under a red light because I don't know. It's just it it thrusts me into the world of um, Home Before Dark, mm -hmm. and um, I just read it and I started to like really internalize the woes of being a black woman in power, you know, because I can relate to that in my own day to day life, mm -hmm. right? So right. um, it, it always feels like no matter um, what you do, you have to be 10 times better. So I felt that with Trip, and you see it throughout the season. Right. Now, also, the change has been usually you was right there, as you were saying, your buddy, buddy with Hildy, mm -hmm. you're both investigating. And now it's like, no, you have to separate yourself from that and kind of be the role model to the whole like the police bureau, what's going on and mm -hmm. say, no, I'm your captain. You listen to me and we're not going to do mm -hmm. these side missions now. So I was wondering now with working with different people than you had from the first season, how has that been? Oh man, well, everyone is lovely. <laughs> the cast is lovely. Um, but it was um, kind of heartbreaking to see um, the the relationship unravel with um, Hildy and Trip and how Trip has to pull away. Right. And Hildy doesn't really understand, but Trip is going through a lot. You know, I think that, yes, yeah, she's excited to, to be in this position, but she's also so scared and nervous. Her first day in there's this, you know, white guy that's looking over her shoulder and um, she has, I mean, it's like Trip has power, but does she really have right. power? You know, right. this guy has the, um, has, um, he could fire her basically. He has the wherewithal to, to fire her and um, she has to navigate through that. And um, the deputies aren't really, um, listening to her they don't really respect her so she's just trying to earn her respect and um even though i love working with the kids and i did miss the kids <laughs> um working with um uh everyone down at the station and um all of the wonderful actors it was it's a, uh, a pretty good uh, experience. Right. Mm -hmm. Now for this season, where would you say Mint gets her mental strength from? Because there's a lot of dealing with the shadows of the past. And then there's like, there's a scene when you're asked, hey, you could step down if it's too much. You know, and I'm like, right, excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? How dare you? Excuse you. So where would you say her strength comes from? Oh my goodness. I think um, her strength comes from her dad. I mean, you see that um, her dad, Junior, is in jeopardy of losing his farm mm -hmm. and he is fighting. He's not going to go out without a fight. And I think that that's also within um, Trip. She's always been a person to bounce back through adversity. And um, and it's, you know, being a, a black woman, it's just like it's, it's innate, right? It's right. in you. It's like, OK, all right, I'm going down. But I have to muster up some type of strength because I will not 
fail under any circumstances. So I think she gets a lot of that from her father and um, and just um, it's just kind of who she is as a woman. Right. So it, it's hard for her. Boy, I mean, reading the <laughs> scripts, I'm like, oh, way Trip is going through it. But, um, you know, hopefully she she ends up OK. We'll see. <laughs> If you could have a conversation with Trip as Aziza yourself, what kind of advice would you give her to just not completely mentally snap at this point? I would say, Trip, give yourself some grace. You're doing the best that you can mm -hmm. in the given circumstance. Um, she has this thing where I think that she is just trying to follow the rules and she's like, I can't fail. And I think that's a, a, a part of her flaw is that she's, she's striving for perfection. Right. And like, no one's perfect. Things are gonna happen. You have to be malleable. And um, she, she's a little hard on herself. So it's like, Trip, just grace girl, you got this. And you're, 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 you're in an uh, environment where the world is unfair to a woman that's in power, like you, that's just kind of the, the given circumstance and, and um, you just have to fight and be resilient. Right. I guess that's what I would tell her. Now, this is our, we're around episode seven now that is aired mm -hmm. on Apple plus TV. Six. The episode Today. seven is this. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Next week. Mm -hmm. Next week. My dates. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so we know that we're tackling environmental uh, issues that's mm -hmm. going on something is poisoning the town mm -hmm. is there anything that you can kind of tease either with your character or with the overall structure mm -hmm. for fans um i mean I, i'm like how do i not i don't want to give you <laughs> give away any spoilers but um just pay close attention to um I don't want to say I'm like, is that a Just pay attention to everything. everything. Just watch. <laughs> pay attention to everything. Be careful. Watch what you drink. Just you know, be careful. <laughs> that works. I love it. Uh, so overall, I was wondering, when you get a script, dealing with this mystery that we have, mm -hmm. when you sit down and you're getting your scripts, do you get everything advanced or do you kind of learn as the script goes? Girl, we learn as the script, as the script goes. Um, oh. So yeah, we never know. So we're always calling each other on the phone. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, did you read the new episode? Oh my goodness. What do you think? Where is Richie? Da -da -da. Like we're always, right. um, we're always like excited about the next script. I wish, I actually, I'm actually kind of happy that it's like that because mm -hmm. there, we can't really anticipate the end. So it's like, we're, we're, um, we have to be true to that episode because we don't know your character. You don't know what's going to happen next. So Right. So from either anything from season one or up until what we see now in season episode six, was there anything that really excited you for how it came out on the screen or a, a twist that you was like, I'm waiting to see what's going to happen? Mm, uh, it's so, so much. Just, just the environmental um, mm -hmm. twist. Like I didn't know, um, uh, see uh, episode one when you have the dead birds and the fish it was like okay I wasn't expecting that for uh for a season two but um it gets messier so I'll just say keep watching because seven and eight and nine and six it's just <laughs> really <juicy. laughs> like, and how has playing trip kind of changed you from season one to season two? Oh, you know what trip is so bold Mm -hmm. And um, I, I lean into her strength sometimes in my own personal life, whenever like I'm nervous about something. Anytime I do something for the first time, I'm like terrified. Mm -hmm. And um, Tripp becoming sheriff of the, of the town, she's terrified too, but she does it with such grace and she's holding her own. So I lean into that whenever um, I'm faced with adversity, you know, with the pandemic and all these things that's going on. It's just, I have to just lean into my strength. Um, so right. thank you, Trip Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel that because of her strength and because she has that power to keep going, 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 that it could be not necessarily her downfall, but because cause something to have her pause for a moment? Oh, absolutely. I think everyone has a breaking point. Mm -hmm. And um, Trip will definitely have hers. I mean, you can only have um, 
stay faced for for so long, right? At right. some point, it, it will be something that takes you down or makes you uh, surrender. So um, there is a point where she will have to uh, surrender to even her own strength. Right. And what would you say has been like the greatest lesson so far from playing trip this long? Um, Either as an actress or as an actress. Yeah. Um, it's been, you know, I'm a sponge whenever I'm on set and I love my cast. Like we are a family. Um, we were in um, Canada for, you know, a long period of time. Right. Like during the, the pandemic, a lot of us stayed. So I was in Canada for about a year and um, holidays I spent with my cast. And um, so just being around everyone on and off of uh, that it's been it's been an experience um they're also good and (laughs) I'm always learning I'm a little sponge on set and um they're also great people so I'm very grateful to be a part of such an amazing show but uh, most importantly amazing people wonderful Mm -hmm. and for this season I know you can't spoil anything but uh will we dive more deeper into Trip and what's going on with her as a oh, person? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely, girl. <laughs> we will dive in. Mm-hmm. I mean, so far, you um, from the, uh, episode one through uh, five, we've seen right. just the struggle of um, what it's like to be a woman in power. Right. And as we get deeper, um, you start to see, uh, see how Trip is unraveling right. and how or if she's even able to, to bounce back from it all. So it, it gets a little um, tougher for her. <laughs> oh, Ooh. so if you could tease in three words, mm-hmm. uh, kind of the remaining episodes, what words would you use? I would say expect the unexpected. Mm. I, like, <laughs> I love I love how vague, but yet how that intriguing that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because when we read the script, mm-hmm. We were like, oh my gosh, did you expect that? <laughs> you know, and it was, yeah, so yeah. And none of us did. I mean, we would sit around, I would go over um, Brooklyn's house and um, uh, me, Brooklyn and her family, we were all kind of try to guess like, okay, what's happening here? And what do you think this is? And what's going on with, uh, you know, the town and da-da-da. yeah, we, we were all wrong. <laughs> okay. We were all wrong, so. Expect the unexpected. Was there a particular theory that she was like, no, nope, this is wrong, that you can kind of share? Um, Either for like season one. Oh, say it again? For like season one, since you don't want to give away anything for, for season two. Some, okay, season one that I wasn't expecting? Yes. Did you like, oh, I, that was surprising. I was wrong. Oh, <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting um, Richie to come up out of the, the, the water. Mm-hmm. I um yeah I I thought that he was uh, you know dead right at the, yeah so that was something that I didn't expect. Wonderful, thank you so much for speaking Thanks with for me. me. It's been fun. I love this show, mm-hmm. the mystery and everything. So thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>